birth of Jesus is a portrait of love beyond measure, miracles beyond imagination, and sacrifice beyond reason. The centuries of silence and of prayers were prelude to fulfilled promises. Though his coming is long expected, it is almost going unnoticed, almost. So let us come together and speak of prophets and sages and angels and stars, of wise men and shepherds. For the good news has come. God's unspeakable gift is born in Bethlehem, born to show us the Father's love, born to set us free. In one eternal instant, the world changes forever. The prophets' voices would not be still, nor could they be forgotten. Their message rang in the echoes of ancient chambers. Listen, it's the voice of someone shouting, prepare the way of the Lord. At last he has come. At last he dwells among us. At last, Noel. Near to Bethlehem, shepherds are deep in their night watch. Huddling together for warmth, these keepers of the flock little know 
what is about to occur. They are overcome with fear as celestial messengers break into Earth's dimension. They descend from the heavens on their mission to announce the birth of the Messiah. The message, do not be afraid, for I bring you good news. It will cause great joy for all the people. Today in this town of David, a Savior has been born. He is the Messiah. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Glory to God. The Father is sending his Son to redeem us. The world has a Savior. On this winter night so cold, our shepherds watch our keeping. Comes a promise one foretold. This lovely child now sleeping. Gloria, sing Gloria, sing Gloria, sing Gloria. Such was the preparation of the Father. Jesus would be born under the law in order that we might be redeemed from the law. The Son would usher in the new covenant revealing the love of the Father, and it was the Father's passion and purpose that would bring it to pass. All of the mercy of God could be seen in Jesus. His only Son given to the world, solely Deo Gloria, to God alone be the glory.
is grateful for the months of preparation following the angel visitation. This overshadowing by the Almighty had transformed not just her body, but her heart. Though she had always been uniquely turned toward the Father, there were days now that Mary felt his nurturing love so profoundly that her heart ached. Slowly, subtly, and surely, a mystery occurred. In the empty space she yielded, the Father began to create the divine. The Almighty had always been her shelter. Now in a moment, an unimaginable gift was hers. She became shelter for the Almighty. Mary looked around her. She looked at this place where animals slept and ate. She looked at the feed box where her son, God's son, lay sleeping. She smiled at the thought of Joseph, so carefully and lovingly laying the straw for her and for the baby. Now her heart filled with a knowing, a knowing so deep, she exhaled from the core of her. This was holy ground. The sacred sanctuary, where once no man could enter, was now stable, the place where God's presence dwells. the hope of the world 
was born in a stable. And those who came to see him entered the Holy of Holies, stepping on straw. And all these tender mercies of the Father captivated Mary, <laughs> even as she pondered all that lay before her. It was her calm assurance, even as she prayed for wisdom. <coughs> So it was <clears throat> that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. Yes, it was just as the prophets foretold. Those who were witness to the miraculous fell silent. Silence, worship, bowing down, all things expected in the presence of royalty. But in this case, they were encountering the divine. Fear gave way to hope, and that hope embraced the world through the gift of a baby, the only begotten Son of God. They named him Jesus. Tonight, heaven and earth will intersect. At last, Noel. Journeys have beginnings and endings. And there was one journey for which all creation had been waiting, longing, the journey of the Messiah to earth. The season of redemption was upon us, the Christ child's advent. His coming would usher in yet another journey. With all of creation at his command, the Father would choose to announce his son's arrival with a new star in the evening sky. The rise of this astonishing star drew the attention of certain magi from the east. They became convinced that a miraculous birth was to occur. A virgin would bear a son. The journey to see this king would be long and arduous, but they must follow this sign. The creator of heavens had spoken. His son must be worshiped.
stands out in the chronicle of human history. One night stands out as a testament to divine law. One night stands out as the moment heaven came down to earth. It was a miraculous night. It was a glorious night. It was a holy night.
God so loves the world that not love came to life in the gift of the Messiah. The perfect plan of the Father was in full display. Emmanuel, God with us. At last, Noel. <laughs> 